Hey, what's up? My name is Alex. I'm a music producer, and today I want to do a reaction and analysis of Near Automata, a beautiful song. A special thanks to my friends, the Nice Guy Prince and Fish Fried Cat, for requesting this track, and thanks to you guys for 30,000 subscribers. This channel is growing so fast that, like, Man, so good. When you hear this choir in the game as Simon starts to sing, you're like, am I in Ghost in the Shell? Because this sort of like ethnic vocals is something we heard culturally for the first time in Ghost in the Shell. When I first heard about Nino Armada, I'm not gonna lie, but it was because of 2B's controversial backside. But I feel that we've all been tricked. The most beautiful part about this game is not 2B, it's the music. Beautiful vocals, it's amazing. I love this melody so freaking much and these vocals are being sang by Amy Evans which is a singer that sang all over the whole Nier series and her voice is just awesome but the thing that is very distinguishable about this type of melody and this type of singing is that it's in chaos language. It's an invented language that was used for this soundtrack. Singing in an invented language gives you the uh, possibility to use certain sounds that you wouldn't find in any other language. The band Sigur Ross based their whole style around their invented language as well. The other thing that happens here is there is a beautiful movement in the melody being accentuated a lot by what's underneath that. And what is underneath is a modulation. A modulation is a technique that composers use to change the key in a track. When I say key, think about the tone in a speech. When you change that very often, you get a stronger emotional response from the people who are talking to you. That happens a lot in Keiichi Okabe's music and gives us way more emotions as we listen to Nier Automata's soundtrack. The third reason why I feel this melody is very representative of Nier Automata and is amazing is the fact that you have this vocal line singing beautiful melodies on top, but underneath you have an orchestra playing very interesting counterpoint. Counterpoint is the art of blending different melodies together with the main melody as a way to accompany the main melody and giving it an even stronger sense of direction. But if you want a very great example of counterpoint in video game music besides Nier Automata, you need to look no further than Octopath Traveler. Back to Nier, let's move on. That. Why on earth am I dancing to this? I don't even know, but these harmonies, guys, is, they're so freaking awesome. These harmonies are very distinctive of Nier Automata as well, and I wonder if like it's an Asian culture thing to write music with these sort of harmonies, because I heard them also in a Final Fantasy XIV theme for a very Asian cultural character called Tsukuyomi. Another honorable mention is Zone of the Enders. Back to Nier Domara though. Man, those strings are so freaking amazing. So what's going on is that other than the huge amount of feels we're feeling right now, we have a beautiful beat going on through percussion and strings. So beautiful. Man, 
this is just this gives me goosebumps when i hear it because guys this to me sounded so familiar in the game when i heard it turns out the person singing it is a black woman this is one of the very few times in the history of video games where i heard a black person singing the vocals for a game and I feel like, okay, I'm biased because I'm black, but honestly, this is Janik Nicole and her voice just sounds so warm and intense. Black vocals, they have a certain amount of soul that I don't find anywhere else. So hearing that here was super cool. It was just awesome. Awesome, like this crescendo, wow. Jeez, guys, this is just, what? <laughs> you know, it's like, what? <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. Of course, Janik Nicole's voice is just ballistic. So many emotions, but mostly the overall, like, orchestration of this track in that moment is playing so many freaking modulations. <laughs> like, it's just... This, all these emotions pervade you and you feel everything. You feel the sadness of Simone, you feel the confusion in the androids, Tubi and NS fighting against dead androids that are being used as weapons. Like, there's so much emotion in the story of this game and so many feelings, and which is very weird because this is, this is a game about machines and androids, which are the least human thing possible, but still. I feel this whole story is a beautiful representation of humanity as it as it was and the music really portrays that so beautifully. It's my favorite part. Please. So this part is where I get my goosebumps. This is where I go like, oh my God, oh my God. Now, let me explain why. Other than being black, I'm also Italian, okay? And I know this is kind of chaos language, but this part sounds like she's singing Italian for a second. That's not what she's saying, but it sounds like that. In Italian, that means it hurts here in my heart. Now, I know this is in chaos language, so it might not be Italian at all, but it sounds like that phrase, which is very fitting because this track is about Simone, a machine that goes through incredible trauma because of unrequited love. So when I hear it's like, what? <laughs> you know, it's like, as an Italian, I get super triggered and the way she's singing it i feel that sentence there is one of the most like painfully sang sentences in the whole song and i don't know every machine basically near automata is born with a strong desire simone was born with a desire of being loved and being seen as beautiful and she goes through incredible deeds almost self-destroying herself just to gain jewels that make her look beautiful she kills her own kin kills other machines and takes their parts and put them into her like all of that kind of shit which is very dark is coming from a desire strong desire to be seen to be loved and to be cared for by someone who doesn't give a shit about her you know so it's like <sighs> this part like fama le queen quarter this part of Janik is singing feels very painful indeed in this moment if you notice the percussion and the strings stop completely because they don't want you to feel like you're in fight mode anymore they want you to feel the pain on what you're fighting so they remove all of that and they have these beautiful solo vocals by Janik singing on top of some deep beautiful choir and strings that just feel very introspective Let me tell you about my favorite thing about this whole soundtrack of all. This track has an 8-bit version of it. It sounds like this. I don't know why, when I heard it, it brought a huge smile on my face. Maybe I spent too much time listening to Anamanaguchi stuff. But really, when I listen to 8-bit music, it just makes me warm inside. It's like, oh my god, it sounds like my childhood. It's so beautiful. I would invite you to check out my Weight of the World Prelude version analysis because it's full of near Automata goodness. Feel free to support this channel on Patreon if you want to do requests and get access to my transcriptions that I show when I talk about music. And thank you guys for 30,000 subscribers.
This is just awesome. I didn't expect this channel to grow up so fast. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.